Here I am on Signal Hill in St. John's, Newfoundland, the easternly most city in all of North America. Really a symbol of all the many courageous souls that braved the ocean blue, those treacherous waters, to travel from Europe to come all the way over here. But why did they take the risk? Why do uh, almost a half million immigrants come here from around the world every single year? The answer is that we are the greatest nation on earth. Sure, we have our problems and we all have our complaints about the current government. Our past is not perfect, but let's take a moment to be thankful for what we do have. I take into consideration my own story, for example. I was born to a 16-year-old unwed mother who put me up to adoption to two school teachers. They taught me that in Canada, it didn't matter where I came from. It mattered where I was going. It didn't matter who I knew, but what I could do. It's the country that brought my wife here as a refugee, and it's the country we want for our kids and yours. It's a country where it doesn't matter if your name is Martin or Mohammed. Smith, Singh, or Steinberg, Tremblay, or Tang. As long as you're prepared to work hard, do your best, follow the law, help your neighbor, you can get ahead and fulfill your dreams. That's what makes this country unique and special. It's a country that's based on ancient liberties passed down over the centuries that we have inherited here in Canada and that we have an obligation to improve and build upon. That's what makes us the envy of the world. That's why so many explorers came across the ocean blue to enjoy this incredible land. So let us take a moment to be thankful to the indigenous people who first called this place home, to the pioneers who came and opened farms and built communities, to the soldiers, sailors, and airmen who protect the land, and to our family and friends who make the land worth living in. Let us be thankful for all of that and so much more. Happy Canada Day.